I'm always uh, looking deeper into the topics. I'm uh, always bringing uh, some, um, like when, uh, I, I love to uh, speak about um, every concept we learn in class and um, tell something new to my classmates. Um, I, basically, I'm frequently telling uh, my classmates something new about the topic we are learning. I get that you're right. Uh, What's your question? You can pick one of these two options, okay? You can either make a thousand bets where you win or lose a dollar, or you can make a single bet where you win and lose a thousand dollars. Which one would you rather pick and why? Uh, the latter. Um, I, I guess it's a uh, central limit theorem type of question. Um, and the idea behind the uh, central uh, limit theorem is that um, like from a purely probabilistic point of view, um, like um, the occurrences that have more um, ways of happening are going to occur more frequently. Um, and uh, to uh, using this information, I, um, I, I, I gather I would have less of a, uh, I mean, I, I'll be more, if, if, I, if I'm uh, risk averse, um, and uh, sorry to just to ask again, uh, was um, uh, so the, what's the kind of like likelihood of me winning? Uh, yes, I've, he I've heard you ask this question, but I uh, um, don't uh, don't remember ex your exact like answer to it. I just kind of brushed yeah, it off so as you, uh, to, central limit to determine and, whether you yeah. win or lose, you flip a coin. Heads, you win, tails, well, you lose. Coin. So you can either a flip coin. a coin I'm once, a coin. and if yeah. you win, you gain a thousand. If you lose, you lose a thousand. Well, or you can well, flip a coin it, once and win a dollar, but you can flip it a thousand or lose a dollar, but you can flip it a thousand times. Mm -hmm. So which, uh, which one would you rather do? Well, if I, if I um, flip the coin um, like a thousand times, it'll be very likely that I'll just uh, um, like win half and like uh, and uh, and lose the other half, right? Uh, whereas if I, um, I mean, uh, it, so let's let let me go this way. What's the expected value of each case? Please spell that out for me. Expected value. So okay, um, one uh, well, one thousand. So uh, five hundred um, in the case for. Uh, uh, 1,000 flips, 50%, $1 win each, right? Or $1 lose, uh, yeah. Oh, no. Um, if, if I lose, I do I, I lose the, the dollar as well, right? Yeah, you don't lose the whole thing. You lose the dollar that you, that you bet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You don't lose the entire mm -hmm. amount of money you've accumulated until now. So what's the expected value in the case? Oh, where... uh, so, so, so I, I, don't, I don't bet any, like say I... Um, each, uh, each time in the 1000 times case, I, uh, I, uh, so I am just, uh, have the, uh, so I can, so in both cases, I'm not risking anything. Essentially. I'm, uh, only, I, I, I I'm, uh, only my only possibility is to win or not win. Um, so yeah, let's sorry. No, no, no. Sorry. Let me, let me explain that. Let me explain that better. So if, I, if you flip, so you start off with zero dollars, okay? Me and you are playing this game where we flip a coin. From your perspective, if you get heads, you pay me a dollar. Oh. If you get okay. heads, if you get, ta if, if you get tails, I pay you a dollar. Mm -hmm. So you have the potential to lose money. Yes. But you're only losing or winning that dollar not the amount of money that you've won or lost until now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, okay. Yeah, and in the lost. other case, with the one flip case, so there's the thousand flip case for $1 and the one flip mm -hmm. case for $1,000. You can say, I wanna do $1,000, but we're only, only, only gonna flip once. And if I get mm -hmm. heads, you pay me 1,000. If I get tails, I pay you 1,000. So yes. tell me the expected value of both cases and be specific to which case you're referring to, the thousand flip or the one coin flip. Well, uh, with uh, with the thousand uh, flip case, I presume 
my expected value is zero because it is way more likely that you will win as much as I will. Whereas uh, in um, in the case of uh, one what like one flip, my expected value is uh, five hundred because uh, yeah, I, I think or am I, am I wrong? You are. The expected value is the same for both. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, it's zero uh, for both. Okay. Um, I mean, yeah. Maybe I'm uh, just uh, like thinking about it too. Like I don't know. Which um, one would you ra now? So now that we know the expected value is the same for both, which one would you mm -hmm. ra if if I was to give you this option and you had to pick oh, yeah, one yeah, or the other, cool. which one would you pick to play? Which game? Um. Well, as I said, the the ladder. It, it it's a standard deviation so, question. What do you mean? Right? What do you mean by the ladder? Be specific. I like uh, the the one one flip case. So you prefer the one flip case as opposed to the thousand mm -hmm. flip case? Yeah. Okay, why? Uh, yeah, but, but but that's if I'm a less risk averse, right? Interesting. Sorry? Okay. S -s why? Yeah. Well, because uh, as I said, um, in the one thousand flip case, I would uh, essentially be wasting my time because, um, in the long run, you will win as much as I will. So, uh, whereas in in the one flip case, um, th there is like there's only one like uh, outcome, only uh, yeah, and it's 50 uh, 50 percent. That's that, yeah, the one outcome that, that has a value of 1000. That's why I thought it would be like half of that. that that's why I thought it would be 500 uh, um, initially in terms of the expected value, and the other will be zero. Um, so you buried but, yourself twice there. So yeah. the first burial was when you said central limit theorem, and then you picked the case where you have one coin flip. Central limit theorem relies on the law of large numbers, which means you're going to need yes. to make a lot of different a lot of the same observation. So that doesn't match there. And then you said if you're less risk averse, you'll pick the option with the with the higher variance, which also means which also is something's backwards in the way that you're thinking about this. So. The variance is actually smaller on the 1,000 flip because the actual end result mm -hmm. is more conformant to that of a normal distribution. Yes. So your variance is actually much smaller in that case because you're more likely going to land on cases that involve you losing $10, you gaining $15, he gains $12, you lose $4 than in the case where either if you lose one of the extremes.